All right, folks, Pachini's idiot, we are back. Man, it has been two weeks. It feels like forever. Now, I want to say I was up late last night watching the Cubs win the World Series. Wow. Ace President Hewitt's decision to withdraw from the United Nations was a victory for Sombra. We cannot let the international crisis escalate. Well, that's why we're here in Montreal. Until it shows that Sombra's leader is here. Well, we'll need more info to find him, but we won't be idle. Our priority is to contact the Canadian Prime Minister, Jason Stone. Armed with the drive from Sombra's satellite, we can finally prove they're a threat. By forcing Sombra out of the shadows, we can put a stop to whatever they're planning. Stone is hosting a hockey match between Canada and the United Kingdom, promoting international peace. Let's go grab his attention. I'll come with you and Carmen Ace. You can't have too much security. Sir Trevor welcome to Montreal. Like you, I'm working towards maintaining the peace. Occasions like the, these bring nations together and promote peace. That's my priority. Yep, and that's why we're here. Do we have a few minutes to talk? Sir Trevor is a vital information about a global criminal organization. I have a few concerns of my own I'd like to discuss. Let's talk in private after the game. Until then, enjoy the match with my other guests. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna make it. Well, I'm glad Stone's eager to listen, Ace, but we shouldn't wait. If El Rey is in Montreal. Look, Ace, Canada just scored. Everyone in here is going crazy. And as that was, Ace, the Prime Minister's down. What do you mean? He's standing? Oh my goodness, Stone's collapsed. I'll secure the room, Ace. You can go check on Stone. Not again. Not again. Not again. Yep, he is definitely dead. It's not good. No bottle. Cash. Hockey puck. No way the hockey puck actually killed him. What are the odds? Hey, Stone's dead. Somebody strangled him. How could they have killed Stone while we were right here with him? How could we bring down El Rey when the only person willing to listen to us is dead? We must solve this case fast. Somebody here must have witnessed the murder. Unfortunately, Senior Trooper Ace, I'm the only guest left, but I'm happy to assist. This is truly tragic. Wait, you look familiar. You're Hector Montoya, the goodwill ambassador from the Olympics. Quite right, Senior Trooper Ace. Stone personally invited me for the game, thinking my presence would foster a spirit of peace. It seems he was tragically mistaken. Looks like we have our first lead ace. We'll have to ask you some questions, Mr. Montoya. If you think the hockey puck might give us more witnesses, we better fate retrieve that faded text. The well, pressure's on ace, we've got an assassin to catch. How did nobody see a guy strangle him? Anyways, guys, I'm gonna grab a bunch of stars and we'll be right back. This is my Pachini's Idiot. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pachini's Idiot, we are back. Let's uh, talk to Montoya. Hey, we appreciate you speaking to us. Did you witness the Prime Minister's murder? No, the only person I saw talking to Stone was you, at Senior Trooper Ace. As for the murder, I was too enthralled by the game. Stone was a peace loving man, fighting for order under difficult circumstances. His death saddens me. I have horror violence. Thank you, Mr. Montoya. Stay close until this investigation is over. We may need to talk to you again. Wouldn't be surprising to me. What? I haven't seen this guy in a while. This hockey put dedicated to the victim by a certain Prince Rupert. Is that Count Rupert we met in our first investigation ace? He's the Queen of England's nephew. Wow, that brings back memories. We had a lot of adventures since then. Well, whatever brought Prince Rupert here, we better talk to him. 
Yeah, I was gonna say a name I haven't heard in almost like probably more than a year, honestly. 56 cases, one case a week. Yeah, this has gone on for way for more than a year. That's insane. Hey, Prince Rupert, you're a long way from your polo fields. Hockey and polo aren't that different. It's essentially the same game, but without the grass and horses. Prime Minister Stone invited one to take part in this match, doing one's duty as heir to the throne, slumming it in all in the colonies and all that. So you weren't in the skybox at the time of the murder? Actually, one was. One only played for the first face-off, representing the crown on the ice. One then joined Stone and the rest of his guests. I forgot he used himself in third person. It's annoying. Did you see his attacker? Regretfully, no. Now, one has a frightfully tiring day. One was his guest of honor at the ceremony, opening the Hockey Hall of Fame this morning. Wow, you could have told me how annoying the Prince was is. Who talks about themselves in the third person? But he did mention the victim attending an opening ceremony at the Hockey Hall of Fame. Perhaps the killer was on the guest list. Let's have a look around the Hall of Fame to find out. Let's, let's do that. So this is right here. Headphones, trash can. Tripod, popcorn, what floor sign. Pretty easy when you've already done the time attack trials. I know finding Prime Minister Stone killers are top priority, but I'm worried we should be hunting for El Rey. It looks like you found some clues, Ace. That handkerchief is spotted with blood, and where there's blood, there's a lead. If that garbage can is, is worth searching through, it would be the first time we found discarded evidence. It won't be the last. So anyways guys, I uploaded all of my thoughts on the uh, individuals that are going to be in Mysteries of the Past Season 4. I am so stoked. Um, I've liked this season. Um, there have been some weak spots in some of the characters, some characters that I just didn't like, like Ripley, so I don't really like her that much. Um, it's looking like I'm going to like all of the characters of Mysteries of the Past. Alright, let's get the blood from the handkerchief of Lars. It's going to be, it's going to be a blast. I cannot wait. Looks like it'll be like another week. Hit the third, and then they'll probably wait a week. I hope they don't. I hope they don't release it during uh, America's Thanksgiving because I will be, I will be uh, with family, so I'll be able to record. Ace, what's Jonah's phone doing in the trash? I don't like prying, Ace, but I agree we should investigate. I'll let you unlock Jonah's phone. Jonah, why is your phone in there? Jonah's phone opened his, to his messages to Marina. I guess we shouldn't... Wait, these messages were, were sent months before the Prime Minister's murder. Jonah obviously didn't lose his phone. He's trying to hide that he was texting his girlfriend when he should have been on full alert. I can't believe it's come to this, but Jonah's got some explaining to do. <sighs> Disappointed. Jonah, Ace found your phone. Look, I can explain those messages. What were you thinking? You specifically asked to be there as backup, but spent your time texting Marina. You're right, Ace. It was dumb. I got distracted and someone was killed on my watch. I was so embarrassed, I threw away my phone. I'm sorry, Ace. The stakes are too high for mistakes, Jonah. Do you realize this makes you a suspect? Are you kidding? I take a bullet for the Bureau, and my hitman days are over. Why would I kill the Prime Minister? You're on thin ice, Jonah. Don't slip up again. Yeah, sorry, dude. You legit were there to to be a bodyguard. He said he had. He said he specifically had information for us, and then you just let him die. 
Dumb. Will the blood you collect from the handkerchief answers many questions about this murder race. Both the blood and the saliva was mixed with belonged to stone. The handkerchief was probably stuffed into his mouth to muffle his cries. So the killer silenced stone with the handkerchief. No wonder we didn't hear anything over the cheering crowd. I also found traces of tetrahydrolyze in that sample, a chemical that has no place inside anyone's mouth. Tetrahydrolyze is an active ingredient in eye drops. It's transferred from the killer's handkerchief to the victim's blood while it was in his mouth. Well, the evidence is before our eyes, Ace. Our killer has eye drops. I don't use them, so I'm not the killer. Whew. Well, I never expected to have a world leader on my table, Ace. The lacerations on Sun's neck indicate he was strangled with some kind of garrot wire. He would have died in seconds. Oh, I can't believe how quickly it happened. Strangled while everyone was cheering after that goal. Then the killer slips away with, with, without a trace. Well, not entirely. The killer left a brown substance on the back of Stone's necks, which turned out to be gravy. The gravy contains traces of melted cheese, common ingredients of the Canadian dish poutine. And there was a buffet in the skybox. This clue satisfies my appetite for justice, Ace. We're looking for a killer who eats poutine. That looks pretty bomb. I try to keep my spirits up, Ace, but it's hard to stay optimistic. Someone was murdered under our noses, and solid leads are scarce. Jonah dropped the ball sending love notes to Marina when he should have been paying attention, but I can't see him murdering Stone. Hector Montoya and Prince Rupert were both invited by the Prime Minister and claimed they didn't see the killer. We, must, we also must understand what El, Roy, what El Rey's role is in this. I refuse to believe his presence in Montreal is a coincidence. After all, someone was murdered seconds before we could show him Bob's drive and prove Sombert's existence. Ace, we should go to the press. The public deserves to know Stone is dead and the leader of a criminal organization could be responsible. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a good call. Absolutely not, Carmen. We'd risk a worldwide panic and we have no evidence that Somber murdered Stone. We do now. I've intercepted a Somber transmission. And it says El Rey was the Prime Minister's killer. What? Are we gonna figure out who El Rey is? That's cool. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in chapter two. This is Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.